can't clip that out. It's live. No, I'm clipping it out. No, it's not live. I'm recording. Uh, I'm recording. But that's that's where this video is going to start, though. Okay, so today we're talking about the injector case and what stims you need to be running in your injector case. And I've got three categories of injectors that I run in my case at all times, as well as some open slots. The first category is stims that heal you. The second category is stims that get you out of a raid fast. Or if you're really heavy, get you out of a raid way faster than you could. And then the third category of stims that I run is ones for if you forgot shit. So ones to pop if you're hurt, ones to pop if you're heavy, and ones to pop if you forgot something. So let's jump into a raid right now. We're joined by Valent Badger and Sean. Let's get into it. Here's the injector case. You can get the injector case from a quest. I'll put the quest on the screen that unlocks it, or you can buy it from the flea. I would buy it as early wipe as possible just because it's going to be cheaper later in the wipe it goes up to like around a million and then it tapers back down uh like end of wipe it goes down to like 700k i think don't quote me on that flea market prices change but this right here is my meta injector case setup and i'm going to go through all three of the horizontal tiers that i was uh, talking about earlier and i'm going to go through all these so propital is going to be your slow heal but it heals a lot so you can see it does, it removes pain, it removes concussion, but it regenerates health for 300 seconds, one point per second. So this is good for the situations when you're either out of a fight, you're going into a fight and you want health regeneration. So can one of y'all shoot me real quick? What the fuck is wrong with you? Okay, all right, this is perfect. This is a perfect way to explain Propital. Okay, so, so I just got hit, my left leg is blacked and the rest of my limbs are pretty much just a little bit tanked right? okay all right bro <laughs> wait do one of y'all have a light bleed i didn't bring any other oh wait I, I, no i got a light bleed i got a light bleed it's fine so what you want to do is you want to pop this would typically be in here you want to pop your propital and what it's going to do is it's going to regenerate health one bar per second or one point per second and what you can do while this is going is you can hit your surgery right so your whole body is going to be healing up while you're doing surgery and then as soon as you finish doing surgery it's going to heal the surgery as well so you don't have to sit there and heal all those individual body parts like and it just takes a ton of time you can just pop propital do your surgery and then get out and while you're walking away you see right here how this is going up as well this will go to three then four and this will heal for 300 seconds as you can see right here it says health regeneration 266 and it's counting down right now okay so that's the first in the health bar heal you zone how adrenaline should be used is say you just got so let's let's look at it first recoil control plus 10 for 60 seconds endurance and strength but here's here's the big one health regeneration for 15 seconds plus four so if you just got hit and basically you get hit and you're behind cover, so smoke me real quick. One of y'all just hit me in the chest. Preferably plates. Okay, perfect. So I just got hit, I'm behind cover, and I'm about to make this push. If I pop adrenaline, I'm getting recoil control. I'm removing pain and concussion, increasing my endurance and strength. So if I pop this right now, look how fast this starts going up. Watch how fast. Now this only lasts 15 seconds though. So I'm getting health a lot faster, but it only lasts for 15 seconds. So that's the difference between popping your adrenaline and popping your Propital, right? So Propital is slow for a long amount of time. Adrenaline is really quickly, but a short amount of time, right? Now, ETGC is your shit just hit the fan, hit me like, hit me a couple times. Like if you're getting real messed up, like more, more. Like, all right, all right, oh no! <laughs> All right, all right, so so before I died, <laughs> we were talking about the ETG C stim. Okay, so, oh no, I popped it! Shoot me, quick, shoot me, shoot me, shoot me. All right, that's enough, that's enough, that's enough. All right, you see how fast this is happening? So the ETG C, and I'll put it up on the screen exactly what it does, but this is your get out of dodge stim. All right, shoot me again, shoot up me here. again. Like me, like me. All right, perfect, perfect. Look how fast this is healing. 
and look how long it's gonna heal me. This is gonna go that fast for a whole nother 30 seconds. So ETGC is when you are fucked up. That is the stim that you need to pop, and they're more expensive because of it. So, oh, let me uh, let me pop Kill my Propital so I can shut up real quick. And then do my heal, so whenever this finishes. Are you showcasing as a Gussie or no? Yeah, I am. Okay, so look how fast this is healing. I still got, oh, and it just ended. So now the Propital is healing for me. Okay, so that concludes the healing section of the stim case so now we're moving on to let's get out of a raid as fast as humanly possible trimidol sj6 is the king of if you're heavy and you need to get out of a raid and it's worth the price of these two stims to get whatever loot you have out of the raid pop trimidol and pop sj6 at the same time and i can seriously watch i can run from here to like all the way over there in one stamina bar. Like, no freaking joke. And I'm gonna do it just, I guess just cause. I'll run halfway there and halfway back. Because look how crazy this is. And you can do this with a ton of weight on your PMC as well. All right, look, I'm gonna start sprinting and I'll speed up the video of how far I can get you. the way up there so oh don't shoot the nades at me bro okay so this is a perfect example now of how to use the next set of stims which are if you forgot something so right now my exhaustion is at zero or sorry i guess i should say my food's at zero right and soon my water level will be at zero so sj12 let me try not to use it what this one does is this, look right here, energy recovery, 600 seconds, hydration recovery, 600 seconds. So if you're losing health because of energy or because of dehydration, pop SJ12. Let me open this back up and pop it. And what this is going to do is it's going to give you like one to two points of hydration or energy. So you stop losing that health points because of that. So if you get into a raid and you're looted up and everything and you're out of food and you're like, holy crap, I'm not gonna make it. Um, pop the SJ-12, that's what that one's for. So now the last one, Caden, where are you at? Uh, Sean killed me, you gotta use him. Oh God, Sean, where are you at? <laughs> okay, so there's a scav shooting at me right now. Boom. Okay, give me a bleed, give me a bleed, come on. Give me a bleed. That's not a bleed, give me a bleed, brother, give me a bleed. Okay, well, Sean, where are you at? Is this you? That's me, that's me, that's me. Don't shoot me, don't shoot me. Okay, actually, yeah, thank you. So, last but not least, the Zagusi stim is going to be your best friend for bleeds. You forgot your food and water. That's what SJ-12 is for. And you forgot your bleeds. No more bleeds. Okay, you could have six heavy bleeds in every single piece of your body, and Zagustin would fix all of them. So, to recap everything, I'm going to put it back on the screen. Uh, I can't see it right now, but I'll run through them all just real quick. Propital is going to heal you for a long time, but it's not going to heal you very fast. Adrenaline is going to heal you for a short time, but it's going to heal you really fast. ETGC is your shit hits the fan stim. Pop that when you are really messed up. Getting out of raids is the second category. Trim it all. SJ6 is going to get you out of the raid fastest. Take my word for it. And if it's not, leave a comment below and tell me what's better. If you forget something like your food, water, or you forget a heavy bleed or a light bleed item and you get a bleed, Zagustin and SJ12 are your best friends. That concludes the injector case wrap up. I hope this was helpful. Uh, leave a like. 
Thank you for watching. We're so close to 3,000 subs. Please help us towards that goal. Leave a comment for the algorithm so other people can be blessed with this knowledge. Drink water, sit up straight, take care of yourself. I love you and have a great day. <laughs> Dude.